to make majestic curry, we will get some fresh herbs from the garden. Fine thyme, broadleaf thyme and married men are a few ingredients. Fresh celery and shivs can also be added to complement the seasoning. These herbs are finely chopped to release their enticing aroma and flavor. Getting green seasoning and other items from your local supermarket may be a more convenient option. In this recipe, we are preparing chicken but other meats can be used such as duck, beef and pork. Wild meat such as akuri, laba, deer and bush cow can also be used to make this majestic meal. Lime juice is often used to remove the fresh scent of the meat. Lime juice can also be purchased at the supermarket. The curry seasoning is now mixed together with other dry ingredients such as achar masala, black pepper, salt and a few seasoning cubes. The fresh seasoning is added or the green seasoning from the supermarket. Perhaps you may even consider both. Let's throw in another cube for good measure. After these ingredients are evenly mixed, water is added. The mixture is then fried in some oil. Mmm, that rich aroma fills the air. If you want to spice things up a bit, add a hot pepper or two. For this part of the cooking, you should have the stove on high heat. Stir regularly until the mixture began to stick to the pot. Careful not to burn the seasoning. Add your meat of choice to cook. Mix well to coat the meat with the curry. Adjust the stove to a medium or high heat. High heat cooks faster but the lower heat allows the seasoning to flavor the meat better. Now this is the secret to majestic curry. Uncooked rice is added and mixed in the pot. Normally, rice is cooked separately. But in this recipe, we want the rice to be flavored by the curry and not just coated on the outside which is how curry is usually eaten with rice. Mix the curry chicken and rice well. After it is mixed, water is now added to properly cook the rice. Bring the sauce to a boil. At this point, you do not trouble the rice. Just leave it to cook for a few minutes. Again, as with the meat, you can lower the heat to allow the flavors to soak into the rice. If you are using an automatic rice cooker, this meal would be ready with little concern. However, if an open fire is used for cooking, be mindful that the rice can get burned at the bottom of the pot. Hence, the pot may need to be stirred lightly and regularly as the sauce thickens. And here it is, majestic curry. IG would like to thank Auntie Margaret for providing the ingredients for this splendid royal meat. Why not give this recipe a try? You may not want to eat chicken, curry, and rice any other way. Thanks for watching.